Hello children. In this video, we are going to learn how does a computer work. This is your chapter th 3. We know that computer is a wonderful machine. It can do so much. Right? But we have to tell the computer what it should do. It will, it will not work on its own. Computer cannot think. Right? So we have to tell the computer what it should do. Let us learn about how a computer works. Are you ready? Yes. The computer works in three different steps. How many steps? Three. They are input, processing and output. What are they? Input, processing, output. It should go in order. The first step is input. The second step is processing. And the third step is output. So computer works in three different steps. First one is input. Second one is processing. And third one is output. To understand the steps of input, processing and output, let us first see how Nimbupani is made. Nimbupani is nothing but lemon juice. I will explain with an example. Nimbupani example. To make Nimbupani, to make lemon juice, what are the things we need? Yes, we need lemon, water, filter, salt, sugar and yes, lemon juicer. Right? We squeeze out the juice, which extracts the juice from the lemon. So these are the things we need to take to prepare lemon juice. So these things are called as input. Got it children? The things which are required to make lemon juice or input. Processing. What you will do? You have to cut the lemon. Then you have to squeeze out the juice from the lemon then you will add water to it then you will add sugar salt everything then you will stir so all these are processing processing means doing some work carrying out some task is called processing after you do process what you will get you will get the Juice, lemon juice. So, this is the output. Got it, children? Yes. So, to make Nimbupani, you have to take lemon, salt, sugar and water. These are input. Next, mixing all these things. Right? This is called processing. Then finally, you will get Nimbupani. That is output. You got it children? Yes. So based on the same concept, our computer also will work. In the next video, I will explain how does a computer work. What are the inputs it needs? What is the processing unit? And how it is getting the output? So today you learned with an example. What is input? What is processing? And what is output? Today's computer lab manner, take permission before using someone else computer. If you want to work someone's computer, you have to get permission from them. Got it children? Okay. Thank you.